In the early 1940s, during the throes of World War II, the lives of many young American men were radically transformed. The draft was more than a call to arms, it was a summons to a new life, a new identity, and a new sense of purpose. The experience of one such young man, drafted into the U.S. Navy, illustrates the profound changes that took place. The young man in our story, barely out of high school, received his draft registration card with a mixture of fear and anticipation. The notice wasn't just a piece of paper, it was a gateway to an unknown future. The initial process of registration was methodical and detached, filled with forms and cues, but behind the bureaucratic facade was a looming reality that this was the first step toward war. Reporting for duty was a jarring experience. Stripped of civilian clothing and personal belongings, he underwent rigorous physical examinations. Every aspect of his physical condition was assessed and scrutinized, making him feel like a specimen rather than a person. The medical checkups, though necessary, were an intrusive initiation into the depersonalized world of the military. Boot camp came next, a grueling regimen of physical training, discipline, and indoctrination. Wake-up calls before dawn, endless drills, strict instructors, and the constant pressure to conform and perform transformed our young recruit into a serviceman. Individuality was not only discouraged but systematically dismantled. A new identity was forged through sweat and determination, and he learned to think, act, and be a seaman. During this intense period, he began to bond with his fellow recruits. The camaraderie that developed was not ordinary friendship but a deep and enduring connection built on shared hardship and mutual dependence. These relationships were his anchor, his source of strength, and his new family. Together, they faced the challenges of boot camp, growing not just as seamen but as a cohesive unit. Deployment was the culmination of this transformation. Assigned to duty overseas, he found himself aboard a ship, sailing to unknown waters and uncertain destiny. The ship was not just a vessel but a floating community, a microcosm of the Navy's broader mission. Every day was structured, every task essential, and every man a vital part of the whole. The freedom he had known as a civilian was replaced by a sense of duty and purpose, a commitment to something greater than himself. Life on the ship was a complex blend of routine and readiness. Daily chores were interspersed with drills, and beneath the calm surface, there was always an undercurrent of tension. The war was no longer a distant event but a present reality, and he knew that at any moment, the ship could be called into action. The experience of going to war was both exhilarating and terrifying. The thrill of being part of a vital mission mingled with the fear of the unknown. The bonds formed with his fellow seamen deepened, forged in the crucible of shared danger and responsibility. Throughout this entire process, from the first notice of draft to the perilous days at sea, our young seamen underwent a profound transformation. The draft was not just a call to serve but a journey into a new identity and a new life. It was an experience that would shape him, and by extension, a generation. The legacy of these drafted seamen is a testament to the resilience, sacrifice, and unity of the men who answered the call, went to war, and forever changed the definition of what it means to be a man in America.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.